Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Girl Just Gaming here. I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. You guys are watching episode two of The Two of Us. If you are completely new to the series, it's about a very young couple that's struggling together. Okay, y'all get to watch them go through all their obstacles in life. Now, when you're watching my episodes of The Two of Us, you're just watching Sky's point of view. But in order to get Darrell's point of view, you will have to go over to Naka's channel. So always remember, every single time I drop an episode of The Two of Us, he drops one too, so by you guys seeing both point of views, you will literally have a full clear understanding of what's going on. And you guys will actually know way more than the characters themselves because they lack communication in their relationship at the moment. So with everything being said, I'm gonna need you guys to get y'all snacks, get all comfy and stuff, because this episode about to be very long. Y'all already know the routine. Be sure to drop a like, tell me your favorite parts and characters. Subscribe if you're new and let everybody know that GJ Giannaka is doing a full-blown marathon for the rest of November of the two of us. Anyways, y'all, enjoy the video. I'm going to see y'all soon. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't you go get mad at me because you don't know how to cook. Get out my face. Get out your- I will. That uh -uh. right over here. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I think not. Cause you're not about I to- think, You better not turn bro, on that TV. Scott, get out of my way. No, you don't pay bills around here to be turning on my TV last time I checked. Okay, well I'm about to start paying bills now. Why? Because I got a job. Where? Don't matter where. Where? Don't, don't, just get out the way. No, I will not. Oh, I got a job, so- I don't care you, if you have a job, you're I, still not paying these I bills. I got a job. Go some make money. some money. Go make some money. Go do something I will. Oh, Look at this. My manager is texting me. I'm, I, I gotta go. I'm late for work. Ever since he got caught cheating, his mouth just been so smart. Like he been hanging around the wrong people. Matter of fact, why aren't you at work? Don't worry about me. Okay. Knowing damn well you ain't off on Fridays. I never told him I got fired from Lucky Pluckers. Honestly, I never came around to it. He just been having so much animosity towards me lately, like I was the one that got caught cheating. But that's fine, me and Reagan, we gonna handle Keisha today. What she got coming her way, that's what she deserved. No, seriously, why aren't you at work? You really wanna know? Yes, I really wanna know. Oh, I was not expecting that. I got fired. Okay, fired. Okay, so now you cook chicken and you're also a comedian. You know what? Hang on. <sighs> Did you hear clean that up? Boy, yo, you're not supposed to drop or some shit like that because ever since you claim you got a job, you acting like you are big and bad. You know why I think that? I don't. Because I got a job. I'm on my way. Have fun with Keisha. I will. I told her, I told her you said hello. As bad as I want this day to be normal as possible, it's not. I keep making myself think it will be, but this is actually gonna be a day that I never forget as long as I'm alive. Today I'm gonna meet up with Reagan, and uh, we're gonna plan a murder. I'm gonna take someone's life. But it's not for no reason. Darrell is the only one that I have, the only person that I have, and I won't let no bitch take him away from me. So I'm gonna make sure I take care of her. Right now I'm on my way to the mechanic shop so they can look at the front of my car. <laughs> I'm going to the mechanic shop as if I have mechanics money. But guess what, they don't know that. So I'm gonna just play it cool. Cause I for damn sure got more than enough on my plate to feed three fat bitches in the cow. <sighs> Customer in there. How you doing this morning, ma'am? How, how can I help you? Um, well, it's just about clear as day. I, well, my boss, he had broke my light, and my hood is like up, as you can see, just before he fired me. Damn, we fire people to hit their cars now? Let me, uh, do you mind if I use your key? You know, to pull it, pull it in, see so we can take a look at it? Sure, here you go. Alright, thank you. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All 
right. Ooh, yeah, that's that's damage really bad. Um, and it's leaking coolant a bit. I can see a little bit dripping out. So basically, yeah, he hit it to the point where, you know, the container that holds the coolant is like it's punctured. Um, it looks like in the middle, in the bottom. So we're gonna have to replace that, and you know, get you a whole new bumper. So that's it's probably gonna take about maybe up to four days. Do you have a, a girl by any chance? I've heard that. Nah, um, I've been more focused on getting myself together. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Is this your cover right here? Yeah, it's the uh, Mustang right there. Well, you don't have a girlfriend, and I can definitely help you get yourself together. You um, you got. Uh, you know another car that you can rely on or no uh, i i don't actually ah shit. well all right i'm gonna just let you use mine you know for a few days and then you know thank you that is so sweet of you you know hopefully i'll have your car ready and okay yeah and what's your name um des but you can call me at convict because that's what most people call me Oh, there got my pops. Hey, what's up, pops? Oh, we got a customer. Yeah, um, him? yeah, her car's over there. Uh, apparently her boss had ran into it, and basically when she when he hit it, it punctured her coolant container. Okay. So it's leaking, and the whole bumper and lights need to be replaced. Like it's damaged bad. Okay, just let me get a look at it real quick. Okay. Alright, so which light is it? Uh, the one on the left. And you can see, uh, okay. you can see where it's leaking coolant. Okay, uh, we can have this one done in about four to six days. About four to six. I'll definitely catch you guys later. And thank you very much, right. Jay. I really appreciate the kind gesture. Alright, you're welcome, man. Be safe. Take care of my baby. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, Why is she taking your car? Oh, so she didn't have like another car to like get her places. So you know, I was being that don't matter. Have That's like cool. have someone come pick her up or something. Don't let her take your personal vehicle. What's wrong with you? I, I was just you know trying to be nice. I just felt bad, so I, you know I was like you know just use my car for a few days and then while wow, we work on your. I'm going back to the office. <sighs> all right, man. Let me go see if we just do it. All right. I know I pissed him off. Hey Pops, can I talk to you for a second? What do you want? <laughs> Alright, look. I know I messed up by giving a girl a car. Alright. I Damn was just right. trying to be nice. I was just trying to be nice, man. Because she ain't, you know, having a second car to rely on. So I kind of felt bad. And I was like, hey, hey we'll call listen, you. Listen, listen, listen. You know how much that car costs? Yeah, I do. That how was your first I car that I gave you. And you're gonna sit here and give it to a goddamn random Yeah, I ain't give it to her. I let her borrow it, but that's that's the thing the, look the thing okay, is Okay, but it doesn't matter. What if she don't come back? Before you pulled up, she gave me her number, so I will call her tonight and have her bring me the car back either tonight or tomorrow morning. Get get the fuck out of the office. Alright, I I'll get the car back, man. Wait, hold up. Thomas! Look, I know I'm adopting and all, but you don't stop talking to me like you fucking stupid. You ain't my damn daddy, first of all. You just okay, you, you just raised me. Hey. You need to watch your little tongue. Wait, you don't stop talking to me like you stupid. Nah, I said what I said. Get the fuck out of your face. Knock that damn beard off your face. You don't knock shit out, Thomas. Well, this is it. Reagan just texted me the address to where I need to be. Luckily I have this Mustang because where I'm heading is across state. And with this car, I could turn this 8 hour drive to a 5 hour drive real quick. Buckle up, cause things about to get crazy.
vegan. Why? Where are you? You got me in an alley with a bunch of bones. I'm okay. I'm assuming this is the box that you're talking about. I don't understand why you gotta be so discreet about things. You have me around a bunch of bums. What do they know? What do they care? I'll be walking you through everything. So I'ma need you to shut up. Don't say shit while other people are around you. Now leave the car and exit out the opposite door you came through. There's a bus across the street that I need you to get on. If you miss this one, the next one won't show up until 45 minutes later. Wait, wait, stop the bus! Stop the bus! You let me in? Please open up the door. I can't miss this one. Please. You late. See, I should have left your ass. Get on the fucking bus. Reagan and I go way back. <laughs> I remember we used to cause so much trouble in the orphanage. They hated us. And the first person that asked for us, they gave us away. Didn't hesitate, didn't check the background or anything. Reagan got given away to the most biggest drug dealers in town. I remember when we was like 10, I remember her telling me that her parents said that they were going to make her their little hitman. I should have asked more questions, but now I'm pretty sure she's way advanced in what she does and I'm across state with only a Bluetooth, leather gloves, and a gun. I have no choice but to trust her. And what I got myself into, I know I can't get out of this now. This is your stop. Put on your gloves, don't make any eye contact, nor draw any attention to yourself. You're gonna make a left on Grove Street, continue walking, make another left on Davis, then a right on Covent. If Keisha lives in this area, it really has me thinking, what the hell is she doing across state with Darrell? An environment like this, she has to have him up to no good. It makes no sense. These guys are careless. They got their pants down, just uh, they got beer in their hand, their guns out. Is this why the real been acting so off lately? He thinks he's one of these guys? Ugh. And honestly, see, in this area, it's just a wake-up call. I thought I was going out bad in life. But hell, I would take my lifestyle over this lifestyle any day. Keisha live at the third house from the corner, the only one with a green dumpster in front of it. And you're going to be in front of that dumpster. <laughs> Don't worry, the garbage truck ran earlier yesterday morning. Reagan, you said we was in this together. We are doing this together. The only thing you have to do is get your hands dirty a little bit, which you agreed to in the first place. It's like I'm doing this by myself. What are you, like my guardian angel? You supposed to be right Shut your dumb me. ass up, Sky. Two people just came out the house. Focus! Girl, let me tell you about the rail. What? What happened? So basically, you know, you know Darrell, he, he threw a little drugs here and there. Keisha is the one with the red hair. The other girl is her cousin Carmen. Whatever you do, don't move from that dumpster. You don't want to be seen by Carmen ratchet ass. That girl is a thug at heart. You know, he can't sell all that cocaine by stuff. Like, it's literally impossible. Uh, he called us up to help him sell the cocaine on that. Wait, girl, time out. I thought all that hood shit was out the window. But, you know, he my cousin. I had to help him because he did two years for us. Wait, you hear that? You hear what? It's some behind that trash can. Girl, it's nobody behind the damn trash can. Okay, how about you go check for me? You know I'm scary. Oh my god, I swear god, you just a scary ass bitch. I swear. Since the day I was born. Oh my god! P please stop. Please don't kill me. Please. Girl, shut Girl. up, shut up. Keep your mouth shut. Are you Keisha? I'm Keisha, yes. Ain't nothing over there. You over there, yes. Ryan, talking about. I'm scared. You, ain't you Darrell, cousin? Yes. Reagan, I gotta wanna do this. I can't take someone's life. It's too late. She already saw your face. You can't run from this now. Please stop, don't kill me, please stop. Keisha. Oh my God. Run across the street. Keisha. Where am I going? Where? Hop the fence. I don't know where I'm going. Jump on that garage to your right. 
Reagan, I need you here. Where's my car? Scott, calm down. Your car's right there. I just killed somebody. Oh my god, I just killed somebody. <laughs> Fuck. Bust a good time. I didn't sign up for this. Make a right. Scott, I said a right. Stop yelling at me. They're shooting him. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. You lost them. I knew I wouldn't forget this night. I knew it. But I didn't know that I was gonna be put in this much danger. I thought that me killing Keisha was supposed to make me feel better and not a hundred times worse. I gotta meet up with Darrell and tell him what I just did to his own cousin. On top of that, the mechanic told me that he wants his car back tomorrow. Now how am I supposed to give him his car with bullet holes? How am I supposed to explain the busted windows and the busted tires? This car is official evidence of a whole crime scene. I just drug an innocent man into this crime I just committed. <sighs> I left an address in the glove compartment. I need you to leave the car along with the gloves, Bluetooth, and gun. There's a cab waiting around the corner for you to take you home. It won't be waiting no longer than 20 minutes. So if you miss it, once again, that's on you. I'll make sure the car gets returned to your mechanic. Now go home to your cheating ass boyfriend. He won't be cheating on me again, at least not with Keisha. And after taking her life, after taking a life, I feel like a terrible person. I am a terrible person. The amount of remorse and regret, I don't think this feeling will ever go away. I wish life had a remote control and I can just rewind everything back and do everything the right way, but that's not the case. I have to keep moving. I have to keep pushing. So with that being said, if Darrell get caught cheating again, I'll make sure the bitch is sitting right next to Keisha. And I'm 100% positive I can't feel any worse than what I'm feeling right now. I heard everything Keisha and Carmen said about Darrell. I didn't know he was a drug dealer. I didn't know he did two years for some friends. So nine times out of 10, he's a felon, which makes so much more sense on how come he struggles to get a job. This whole time I've been living with a man that I don't even know. <laughs> Why couldn't he just tell me? So I won't tell him what I did to his cousin. And I wish she can just Leave the hitman stuff alone for one second and just let me have a conversation with her face to face. But no, she wants to play guardian angel. She wants to play God. She wants to put people in bad situations and not be there. Hey, baby girl. Uh, hey. Oh my God, you are not Sky. You dressing all black. Who knows who did it? Not you, not me. Look into the lick. I am not a murderer. Whoa, hey, 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 whoa. Calm down. It was just a joke. I'm not either. What's your problem? Like you play it all the time. I mean, it wasn't that serious for you to get your panties all in a bunch, but what's up? What what's the problem? I got your 911. Um, I I got a job. You made it seem like it was something more important, but okay, what? congratulations. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you you sound like you're not, but what's up with you? Oh right, right. Um, I I gotta go. What? What? I just gotta go. I gotta go. Something important came up. Look, but um, congratulations on your job. I'm very proud of you, but I have to go. I'll talk to you later, okay? What the hell? Hello, I am Detective Foster, coming from Weasel's News. Today we had a very, very strong case. It was very interesting. I never came across anything like this before, and I've been a detective for almost 25 years. A lady by the name Keisha Harris was shot dead smack in the middle of her forehead. This was an attempted murder. Luckily, she will pull through. She is in a vegetable state. Whoever did this was very skilled. They had to be a hitman, left very little information once again. But I will say, I like a challenge and I will find you. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse, excuse me. You don't know how it feels when you watch your cousin get shot. I know. Who, you have no. to wait a minute. I am truly sorry for your for your loss, but we no. are live television. No, you have, have to wait a minute. Put the camera all in my face. I want it all in my face because I have the license plate. I chased that woman down. You don't know how I feel, ma'am. They tried to kill my cousin Keish. Keisha. Keisha. <laughs> I got you. It's grocery, baby. You know, till the day we die. Well, I don't know if you're already dead.